Greetings and welcome to the arcade. This is episode 16, Track and Field Cocktail Restoration Part 1. This past summer, we reacquired a rare track and field cocktail. The main issues with this game were it didn't have the correct monitor, the power supply was malfunctioning, and the edge connector was damaged. So, finally, in this episode, we are going to address all these issues and see if we can get this bad boy operational. All right, we have a lot of work to do, so let's get busy. Welcome, everybody. We are starting a brand new project that we have put off for a long time. This is the track and field four-player cocktail game. The biggest issue that we are faced with right now is we are going to install a brand new linear power supply. We are also going to fix the wiring. We have, we have a uh, edge connector wiring issue. The edge connector on this track and field is broken. I had to rig it a little bit. And we also have to fix the monitor output to the input to the monitor. So. We are trying to get this thing running. It's a working PCB. I actually, my good friend John Geiger, who runs Arcade Super Awesome, and he actually helped me test this um, track and field PCB, and it works. So. And we have a Wells Garner 4900 monitor that we are going to sync into it, and this has a vertical orientation. So once we get the uh, monitor sunk in to the hole, it should work out. One of the interesting situations with the track and field cocktail is you have that coin box right there which causes you trouble for inserting a normal monitor with a horizontal orientation so that doesn't fit. You need the vertical one. So, all right, let's get to work. All right, everybody, as you can see, we got one of the blue wires that sends the signal into the monitor out from the motherboard one of the female connectors broke off so we're gonna have to pop this out and we need to see if we can actually get this corrected so that we can hook it up into the adapter this adapter right here this adapter right here will hook into the Wells Garner 4900 we have done the crimp, the proper crimp, as you can see. We have crimped this wire off camera. And now we're going to put this female lead into the appropriate section on this um, connector. Just kind of push it in. Yes, we were able to get the blue wire in its proper spot. And now we are ready to move on to the next task, which is re doing redoing this edge connector which is in really bad shape the edge connector um, when I got the game let's take a look here the edge connector was broken right here at the corner and it wasn't making a good connection so right now we're going to put a brand new edge connector on we'll be right back I think one of the biggest challenges for me with this with this game is coming into it it had some horrible horrible wiring problems. Um, the edge connector was crushed so right now I'm having some trouble transferring over these um, metal connectors to fix this game so we're gonna probably probably have to do this off camera because it's it involves a lot of um, bad language. <laughs> Once I get the uh, pattern down I can get these back I populated five of them already, but I'm having trouble getting the uh, old ones out, the, um, or break apart the old one so I can get the... Uh, I'm sure there's a tool for this, but I just don't have it, so we will return. All right, we have a new edge connector um, in place. We've got all of the wiring connectors po um, 
populated into the new edge connector harness. And now we are going to work on the power supply. Our next step is completed. We have installed the 15 amp power supply for the track and field cocktail. We actually mounted it to the um, motherboard. There's a motherboard sliding drawer that we mounted it to right next to the, um, as you can see right here, right next to the PCB cage. Good news to report. My hard work today has paid off. Looks like I got the track and field running. And if you've noticed, this is a hyper Olympic PCB. Everything's working. Sounds working. Monitors working. Power supply. New, new power supply. We fixed the wiring issue. Um, all is good. Something I wanted to show everybody. Um, this is the original track and field cocktail serial number tag. As you can see, this is game serial number 1125. Okay, everybody, we're on to the next phase of the restoration and repair of the track and field cocktail. Right now, I'm going to, to attach the Wells Garner 4900 monitor to the track and field cocktail monitor front wood frame. Um, kind of tricky. Um, there's a couple of parts you have to take apart to get this drawer out. You actually have to unbolt some spots here inside the cocktail. There's, a, um, there's some brackets here on each side that you have to undo and you actually have to take off the control panel. You have to take the control panel off. A lot of stuff to get to it. You got to take the glass off, of course. So right now we're going to bolt this monitor to the wood frame and slide the frame into place. control panels in place. Now we are going to do a little test. We're going to turn the game on and we're going to do a 5 volt test on the power supply. We are having some board issues. So, All right everybody, I'm going to, with the multimeter, I'm going to touch the ground on the monitor and I'm going to touch one of the rams or one of the uh, EPROMs there, whatever that is. Uh, our, our 5 volt seems to be in a state of flux. Um, let's, let's test something closer to the uh, edge connector. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we're, we're reading right at 4.89. Um, that's not too bad. Let's try another. 4.9 is what I'm reading from the board. Let's try a little adjustment here. Let's do a little adjustment. Let's go a little higher. Let's see what kind of voltages I can get. Like I said, touching one of the EPROMs. Ooh, right at 4.98. That's pretty good, I think. I think we've hit a spot that's very, very close to five. So, very, very uh, close. Consistency right there, 4.98. That's pretty close to five plus five. So we're looking good on the adjustments. Um, let's take a look at the screen and check that out. On your mark. Get set. So, so far so good, everybody. All right, everybody, we have the track and field put together. It's a good looking machine. 
We have done the necessary voltages to the PCB and we're getting a very clean plus five to the PCB. It's, uh, we're getting a very stable image here. So pretty thrilled about that. Um, we did a couple of adjustments on the board too. We actually were able to set the high, reset the high score table with the dip switch settings and powering on and off the machine and we're able to uh, post some scores on this game. So we got a fantastic game. All right, everybody. you enjoyed this episode of arcade hollywood we still have a few things to fix on the track and field cocktail so stay tuned for part two of the series once again wanted to give a shout out to my good friend mike miller and his band origami this episode featured the songs permission granted and runt you can check out the music of mike miller and his band at origami.tumblr.com Coming soon to Arcade Hollywood, we will feature Rodney's Amazing Arcade in Lima, Ohio. We will have a Galaga Cabaret and a Donkey Kong Jr. Restoration update. And we will finally have the Arcade Hollywood full access update for 2016. I wanted to thank everybody who has subscribed to this channel. Very much appreciated. This is a great time to check us out, so please subscribe. Don't forget, you can check me out on Twitter, Arcade Hollywood at Hollywood Arcade. We are also out there on Facebook and Google+. Please email me with any comments or questions at discohollywood1 at gmail.com. All right, this does it for another episode of Arcade Hollywood. Until next time. Rock on!